Hi guys. Oh, let's see. I'm trying to get camera angles right. I don't have a master control that says uh, I can't just press a button and start to make the video start where it should. Hey guys. Um, thought since the spooky season is almost upon us, I would talk about a couple of books that maybe you might want to check out. Um, if you live in the Midwest area, uh, there's a series called Weird U.S. This book is called Weird Ohio. Um, this has got a lot of stories about local weird locations and legends of the state of Ohio. I One of them in particular that I have visited is the Moonville Tunnel. I did a whole documentary video of my trip there. Mostly it's my trip there. It's not really me talking about too many things about the history of the place. Um, so there, if you check out the contents page, which you can't see. Oh, I can't do this without hurting myself. Uh, here's what all you can hope to find in this. It does have an article on the Moonville Tunnel, like I said. There's a couple of other local locations that I don't know a lot about. To be honest, I don't know a lot about this book. Um, Touchdown Jesus, which actually was struck by lightning and burnt down a few years ago and they replaced it with a new one. But there's a picture of the old one there. The statue that was. Uh, there's a giant uh, picnic basket. Wicker basket. Picnic basket there. Um, there's some other strange. So, I mean, I don't know how many books that these they've done on the other states of, of the United Country of the United States, but I know there's one for Weird Ohio. So, if you live in the this close to this area or you want to travel here, this is not a bad book to get a copy of to figure out where you might want to go um, to, um, to do that. So, there's that book. Another book. I would recommend is this book called Strange Stories Amazing Facts. This one even still has the uh, paper bound cover on it. I remember my folks, I remember they had, there it is without the cover. So you, in case you, yours doesn't have that uh, thing, it doesn't have the cover. Um, there is what they look like. Um, Here's a list of things you might find in the book. Uh, the Enigma of Space, The Astonishing Human Body, Wonders of the Natural World, The Surprising Animal Kingdom, The Marvels of Science, Facts of Building and Engineering, and many, many more things. I remember the, particularly the Titanic article was fascinating to me because I was really into ships at the time. Now I'm like, deep water scares me. Either unless it's a really big enclosed space versus like a, you know, I, I think I probably do have a certain level of claustrophobia. Um, anyway, you know, if I felt truly trapped, I would probably feel pretty, pretty unhappy. Um, so this is a book if you, you know, like books um, to also check out. There's copies of it. I think I found this one on eBay. I am real good at making book covers become difficult as well. Um, but this is uh, just a lot of different, it's a collection of stories, werewolves, vampires, Titanic, other weird occurrences in, in, throughout the world. Um, so that's a good book. Uh, there is a complete tales and poems of Edgar Allan Poe. If Edgar Allan Poe is your thing. Um, certainly anybody who has any love of the horror genre should have at least one some Edgar Allan Poe collection of some kind. Um, I decided I wanted to have one that covered all the bases, so I got this. Um, and there are here's two. Finally, here's two last books to recommend to you. Uh, there is the new annotated Frankenstein and the new annotated Dracula, and me holding those up at the same time is not going to happen. There's that one. Um, the big name 
on these is Leslie Klinger. Uh, videos I watched of him I enjoyed very much. He seems very uh, well studied on the subject matter. He has a lot of old Victorian books. He has a little library, private library of books. Um, he's done a lot of work with Sherlock Holmes. Um, but this book is it's just the little articles that are on the side that you find that go along with the novel um, are fun to read and just to take you down little tangents of knowledge that will educate you more on um, the subject matter. This book had suffered a little bit of water damage but just enough to keep it interesting while still having the pages be able to be turned. So that's good. <coughs> that's perfect. I don't mind. It's Dracula. It's got to be a little off. It's got to be a little weird. Um, and then Frankenstein. Um, I haven't looked at Frankenstein uh, yet, but I'm sure it's another one because, again, Leslie Klinger was involved with this one as well, and I'm looking forward to looking more into this. And I need to finally read through Frankenstein, the actual book. Um, and uh, because it is really well written, I think. Mary Shelley didn't write it completely herself. She may have had help help from her poet husband, who, um, as far as I can tell, it's just beautifully written. It really seems like a beautifully written book. Um, I guess one little fun fact is Frankenstein was came out in like the beginning of the 1800s, where um, Dracula was like 1897, so it sort of wraps up that era of time. But um, anyway, if you're looking for some fun books to add to your collection. Um, those, those are good there. I think all those are, are good there. Um, and, and, um, maybe I'll do another video at some point talking about more books. So, um, yeah. So, please, whatever you do with Halloween, make it happy. You know, do whatever you do that's Halloween that's fun. You know, don't, scary movies or anything, don't go. Just, just into the candy and the costumes, just do that. If you're just into the candy, just do that. Just make sure whatever you're doing, you're having a good time. All right, guys. Talk to you later.